Okay, Northeast Iowa Crop Report here. It is June 7th, 2021. Wanted to give an update post freeze. So it's been about nine days since we experienced that really historic freeze damage. Uh, last week I told you that uh, I thought the um, beans I was very concerned with uh, and the corn I thought was gonna make it. And so just wanna give you an update of what I'm seeing now that we've had a week to kind of look at things. So on the bean side of things, a couple things we've learned. Uh, one is as long as um, there's no damage below the cotyledon, uh, those beans are making it. So I'm a little more optimistic at the extent of regrowth as long as that stem is intact beneath the cotyledon. So that's been promising. Um, I don't know how they're going to react yet. I, I wouldn't say we're completely out of the woods because it's been so hot and dry here with really no measurable rain unless we get lucky. Um, so it's been super hot, super dry. They appear to be doing well. So in most situations, the soybeans made it. Uh, however, I am having situations where guys are definitely replanting. Primarily the further north we go, um, north of 18, uh, and, and then specifically in the no-till scenarios. So not completely out of the woods there, but if we already did our preliminary counts, if we're above 60,000 plants per acre, I think we're going to be okay. Now, on the corn side of things, um, it's been a busy week, uh, and I've kind of not paid a lot of attention to corn because it's supposed to grow back. Um, unfortunately, I have been seeing some situations in the worst damage area areas that the corn is not necessarily growing back. So this field um, is quite weedy. It's weedy because we've been waiting for everything to warm up uh, before we start spraying these damaged um, corn plants. But if we look here, um, this is what I'm seeing in most situations. And this is really what I expected to see. So kind of expected to see um, these plants freeze off, new plants coming up. And then if we split this, we're gonna see a healthy healthy inside. So growing points here, everything's nice, nice and white, real nice and healthy. And that's kind of what I expected to see everywhere. Um, I started looking again here, oh, on Saturday afternoon on the worst, again, the worst part of my freeze damage fields. And I'm seeing this, um, see if I can find one here. So here's a plant. You look at this, you notice there's really no green here. And what happened, it didn't freeze all the way down. If you pull this out, it's just rotten. I can't even splice it because it's completely rotten. Um, but what happened was, because I saw it on Saturday starting, it was froze off at the ground, but then it wasn't regrowing super fast and it got caught up in this material and all this healthy green material didn't have enough uh, for lack of better terms, oomph, but vigor to get up out of this dead stuff. And because it's been so hot, so dry, it basically fermented and just, it baked itself and it killed all that new tissue because I think because of this heat we've been having. So um, now I will say um, of the fields I've looked at, I haven't seen any that I would say I'm gonna need to replant them. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that instead of a final of 30 or 32, some of these I've, I've gotten down to, 15,000 per acre. But then if you look a little bit further, they're, they're coming back okay. So it's just a little area in the worst spots. Um, I don't think it's replant scenario, but it is going to take some of our, our stand down. So anyway, that's the report of what I'm seeing out there on corn. I'm a little disappointed in seeing that. Again, I don't think it's gonna be a huge catastrophe. It's just in the worst of the worst spots. So the big takeaway here is we're not completely out of the woods. We're super close to being out of the woods. I would take one more pass through, look at your worst spots, making sure things are regrowing. Uh, my name is Nick Benson uh, for June 7th, 2021, and this is the Northeast Iowa Crop Report.